Welcome to this video on Selenium interview questions and answers. These are Selenium with Java interview questions. They include Selenium interview questions and answers for experienced and also some Selenium interview questions and answers for freshers. First in Selenium Java interview questions is in Selenium Java browser navigation can be done by which command or commands the simple way is to use driver.get method also browser navigation can be done using driver.navigate.to method and driver.navigate.back to press the back button on the browser and driver.navigate.forward to press the forward button on the browser. Next in automation engineer interview questions and answers. How can Selenium web driver handle the JavaScript pop up with two buttons? Now firstly, there are two types of pop ups with two buttons. One is the confirmation or confirm box and the other one is the prompt alert. Both have the accept method to press the OK button and dismiss method to press the cancel button. Prompt alert also has the send keys method for text input. The next question is. How can you see a cookies data in Selenium web driver with Java? There are two ways. Driver.manage.get cookie named returns data of a single named cookie. And driver.manage.get cookies returns data of all the cookies. Next in Selenium interview questions for experience is in Selenium with Java, how can you switch to an iframe with duplicate ID and name? Now, first of all, if it is the first frame, then I can use driver dot switch to dot frame method to switch to it. Otherwise, I can use driver.find element to find the iframe as a web element and then switch to it. The third way, I can use the frame index number to switch to that iframe. Next in automation testing questions and answers is, how do you know how many windows or tabs are open at a given time? in Selenium testing. Driver.getWindowHandles.size gives the number of open windows or tabs. So if the size is 1, that means exactly one window or tab is open. Next in Java Selenium interview questions and answers, write code to print all the links on a web page. So first I will navigate to the web page using the driver.get method. Then write some code like this int i is equal to 1, i is the counter variable to count how many links are there and then use a java for loop for web element link in driver.find elements by dot tag name a this is going to give a set or array list of all the links then within the for loop body which is these curly braces i can use java's system dot out dot print ln print the counter then link dot get text to get the link text and link dot get attribute href to get the URL. 
you should be able to answer all these interview questions if you have viewed all my previous selenium tutorials in this selenium training the next question is what are relative locators in selenium 4 so sometimes it is difficult to write the locator of a web element but there is another web element with a simple locator that is close to it so relative locator gives a location above below to left of to right of or near another web element with a simple locator so here is an example let us say it is difficult to find the locator of the submit button so i can find the locator of another web element whose id is my underscore name and using relative locator say that there is a tag name button that is below a web element whose id is my underscore name next in automation testing interview questions and answers which method in actions api actually executes the keyboard commands is it key down key up send keys or perform the answer is the perform method actually executes the keyboard command or multiple keyboard commands that are given in a chain next which method works for the multi select drop down but not for the single select drop down is it get options get first selected option or deselect by visible text the deselect methods work only for the multi select drop down so out of these deselect by visible text does work for the multi select drop down but not for the single select drop down next question is does selenium web driver support mouse wheel operation by the user the answer is yes actions api has scroll to element scroll by amount etc methods but they are only supported in chromium browsers and in selenium web driver version 4.2 and above next question is what is takes screenshot in selenium java takes screenshot is an interface that provides web driver a method called get screenshot as so this method get screenshot as is used to take screenshot in different output types like file or bytes in page object model how can you verify that the correct web page has loaded the correct web page and any critical web elements can be verified in the page object constructor method or methods next question is name a few frameworks used in selenium with java there are different kinds of frameworks used in selenium with java test frameworks for example junit and testng natural language frameworks for example cucumber and full feature test automation frameworks for example maxstaff cloud in j unit what is the difference between before and before class at the rate before annotation makes the method run before every test method so if there are three test methods this at the rate before this method is going to run before each of those three test methods on the other hand at the rate before class annotation makes the method run just once before all the test methods finally the last question is 
हाउ कैन यू रीड एक्सेल टेस्ट डेटा इन मैक्स टैफ क्लाउड आई हेव शोन दिस इन माई रीड एक्सेल ट्यूटोरियल तो देर आर थ्री स्टेप्स द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज आई हैव टू सेट पैरामीटर्स एट द केस लेवल सो दीज पैरामीटर्स आर टू बी सेट विथ एम एक्स डॉट डेटा ड्रिवन डॉट नेम डॉट कॉलम नेम ऑफ दैट कॉलम इन दी एक्सेल शीट द सेकेंड स्टेप इज इन द सिलेनियम विथ जावा स्क्रिप्ट यूज एम एक्स सर्विस डॉट गेट पैरम मेथड to read the value of that column that particular row and the third step is run the case with the excel file for data driven testing what maxstep cloud does is it runs the case once for every row in the excel sheet that's all in this video please view all my selenium videos thank you